John Twist of University Motors. Today I'm making my second video in a year and a half. Today, this time, I want to talk about a 1275 gearbox. So here's the 1275 gearbox, Bridget gearbox. Web case, it's called a web case gearbox because the, the gearbox is not smooth. It's reinforced. So here's the aluminum housing that makes, makes the gearbox. And here's the tail shaft that makes the the tail end of the gearbox. There is no rear bearing. The, the, the drive shaft fits right inside here and rides on a copper, uh, copper bushing. So here we got the remote control. These are not part of our discussion today. Here's the side cover. Inside the side cover, you take your electric pen and you write today's date, whatever date you're rebuilding it. Um, maybe a note, maybe a political note. I love to write notes on the inside. I've done so many gearboxes for so long that I've taken gearboxes apart that I wrote, I wrote notes in like 30 years before. Is that cool or what? Now we're down to the gear set. Now we're down to the gear set. So this is the reverse gear. This is the lay gear. In American, it's called counter gear. This is the first motion shaft. This is the main shaft. This is the three-fourth sliding hub. Let's see if we can get him back on. Probably not. There we go. This is the one-two sliding hub. Okay. So when the when the uh, when your foot's off the clutch, the first motion shaft is is turning. It's turning, and that's turning the lay gear. And so this, the uh, third and second speed gears are always turning, always turning. If the clutch is out and this is turning, this, this set of gears is turning because it's part of this. The lay gear is turning and the third speed gear and the second speed gear are turning. Now, the reason we took this one apart is because the synchro rings, here, here's all the viscera. Look, look in here, all, the, all this cool stuff, huh? All this junk, nasty, oozy. So anyway, the reason that we took this apart is because the synchro rings here, there's no gap. There's no gap between the synchro ring and the face. There's no gap here at all. Therefore, when this gets pushed onto here, this cone... And this cone do not interfere. It just slips. Now here are some better synchro rings. I'll put that on. And you can see that there's just a little bit of a gap there. Okay, we'd like to have about 60 thousandths of a gap. I've got brand new synchro rings that I just got in the mail from Bob Forsblum in Ohio, who does a lot of Spridget gearboxes. I didn't bring them today for the demonstration, but they'll stand even taller off the surface and therefore the synchro will work better. But I just wanted to show these synchros. So you're after a clearance underneath here, you can get your feeler gauges out and measure it. It should be 60 thousandths. And when it gets down to zero, then there's no synchronizing that can possibly happen. And this is just going face up here. So this is, this is, uh, this is just a, a quick description of the synchro rings and uh, the 1275 gearbox. Make sure when you're putting it back together that you've got plenty of, of distance between the face and the synchro ring. Because once it's all together and all the way back in the car, if there's a problem, <laughs> it all has to come back out again. So that, that's my, my little quick uh, quick comments about the 1275 gearbox. Along with, as long as we're talking about tricks, down inside here, uh, I, let me find something I can point with. Here's my pencil. Down inside here is a pin. It looks like a ball bearing, but it's really a pin. And when you start to slide this into um, first gear, that pin pops out just a little bit and gets caught in the main shaft right down in here. And it keeps this guy 
from slipping up and wearing out the second gear synchro when you're in first gear. When you're assembling this hub, you have to make absolutely certain that the gap, which is right here, see there's a gap, all, all this looks the same, but there's a gap right here. That gap has to align with that pin. That pin just fell out. If I'd wanted it to fall out, it wouldn't have. I don't know if I can pick it up with my short fingernails or not. Anyway, there's the pin. Pin's got to be there, and this guy's got to be assembled correctly, in the correct alignment, for this pin to work. If it's incorrect, you put the gearbox all the way back into the car and attempt to find second gear, won't go. You have to take it all back out again. So those are my two, two quick comments about a Spridget gearbox, about the Synchro, and about making sure that the 1-2 uh, sliding hub has the pin in the right position. So visit our website, look at our other hundreds of videos online, join our Zoom sessions, and when you go to the website, look at that little yellow PayPal button that says help John afford his retirement, make a contribution. Safety fast. Mm -hmm.